Hi, and welcome to a video on a premier new feature of our 2.5 release, Appointment Automation, which is composed of two features, Auto Broadcasting and Auto Confirmation. Auto Broadcasting and Auto Confirmation allow LSC admins to set system, account, and appointment level automation rules to dictate how appointments are broadcasted and how interpreters are confirmed. When enabled, an LSC admin can automate an appointment. If an appointment is automated, it will automatically broadcast to all eligible interpreters upon creation. Interpreters will be added based on language permissions, communication types, gender and appointment availability, etc. When, it's, when auto confirmation is enabled, the first interpreter to accept a given appointment is automatically confirmed. So let's do a bit of a walkthrough with these new features. It's important to point out that by default, automation, which consists again of auto broadcasting and auto confirmation, is disabled by default. To enable or disable automation at the system level, you'll need to log into an LSC admin account, which I am here. And then you go to configuration, company, appointments, and you'll see here that we have two options for auto broadcasting and auto confirmation. And if we click edit here or here, it'll open up these tabs and you'll see here that I already have appointment auto broadcasting enabled which is a good thing and then also we have a configurable interval for auto broadcasting set and what an interval is essentially and we'll get into this a bit later but basically you have set pools of interpreters say 10 interpreters that are auto-invited uh, if you have auto broadcasting enabled and the interval determines how much time between those invites will another pool say another 10 interpreters be added so let's go ahead and just leave that at the default which is four hours An auto confirmation is more simple. It's just enable or disable. Now with those enabled, let's go into an actual appointment and see automation and specifically auto broadcasting in action. So we'll select an account and you'll see here this banner shows up that says this appointment is being automated. If this appointment has auto broadcasting enabled but not auto confirmation, at the system level it will show this appointment is being auto broadcasted. The banner will also show up later on, but we'll keep it like this for now. And you'll see here that that banner will show up. And if I disable both, it'll say this appointment is not being automated. If I say enable for auto confirmation, it'll reflect that there. Let's put both of those back to enabled. And we'll just fill out a usual appointment. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so we'll just check out all of our options. Everything looks good. And we'll save that. And you'll see that that banner shows up right at the top there. And that auto broadcasting has done its job. We have a pool of interpreters that have been added, including this very account, which is an LSC admin, but 
has also been invited because it's eligible for this appointment. So we'll go ahead and accept that just to show how auto, con auto confirmation works. And you'll see here that it says auto confirmed. And this is only for the LSC admin's perspective. I just happen to be one as, L as well. A regular in interpreter who is auto confirmed will only see confirmed. So that's about it for system level rules, which is pretty straightforward. So let's go to the account level. And when you open up the account viewer, you'll see that we have a tab here that says appointments. And here we can enable or disable appointment auto broadcasting and appointment auto confirmation at the account level as well. So if you have it, you, if you have auto broadcasting and auto confirmation disabled at the system level, but enabled on a specific account level, then when you create an appointment for this account, it'll automatically go to being automated. Also, you can enable or disable as we've seen before, automation for specific appointments. So even though the account's settings are set to enabled, we can disable them for this individual, individual appointment. And let's fill out all this. Okay. And you'll see that auto broadcasting did not do its job. And we can just invite ourselves again. Oh, we already have this time from the last appointment we made. So let's do seven o'clock. Hopefully we're not booked for then too. We're not, okay. So we were assigned to this, accept. And you'll see that we'll still need to individually, manually confirm this interpreter. There you go. So to reiterate on intervals, with a pool of interpreters that are auto broadcasted, you'll see here that only a few interpreters have been invited at first to this appointment. Since I have the interval set to four hours if no interpreter accepts this invite, then 10 more interpreters will be auto broadcasted too. The criteria for this at the moment is random and is determined by interpreter ID. Therefore, interpreters who have been registered earlier in our system will be invited first. So let's go ahead and talk a bit about a few peripheral options for auto broadcasting. If a recurring appointment is created and auto broadcasting is on for it, the appointment will be auto broadcasted, but only for appointments with a start date within a week from now. So if you have a daily recurrence, only appointments within a week from now will be auto broadcasted. So if you have any appointments with a start time over seven days from now, whether it be a month or seven days and one minute, it won't be auto broadcasted until it reaches that seven day range. Another thing to note are three new icons that are now visible in the appointments module. Let's zoom in a bit on these appointments and you'll see a horn icon and a checkbox. The horn stands for auto broadcasting and the checkbox stands for auto confirmation. Basically, this appointment is being auto broadcasted and auto confirmed. 
and that goes for any appointment that has those options set. You'll see this one doesn't, and so no icon shows up. We also have a icon for recurrence, and we'll show that real quick. You can also search by these categories. You can search for auto broadcasting, whether it's enabled or disabled, same for auto confirmation, and you, call, you can also now search for recurrence or specify if it's a series or a single appointment. So you'll see here that the appointment we just made is being auto broadcasted, auto confirmed, and this circular icon shows that it's also recurring.